Hello, this is DK Kudo speaking from Japan on the 7th of March 2021. Unlike uh, the last um, or the latest time we upload on the YouTube, I'm going to speak very honestly and very quickly today uh, regarding the intellectual property right. As for the any particular statement or any kind of creation of art or literature or music or plants or the flowers, etc., have to be protected by so-called intellectual property right, uh, which originated in France and Germany also in the 19th century, to be precise, 1828 in France. But since then, I mean, the current EU also has been really suffering a great deal about being stolen, that kind of infringement, so-called, of the intellectual property right. and. I have decided to really speak up on this point because that um, according to the official EU documentation publication, about 80% of the stolen, I mean, intellectual property rights, um, such as brands or, or, I mean, you name it, and something of the high quality and high value, I mean, typically, I mean, resided and took place all produced in the EU, 80% uh, of them, the revenue purposes, are stolen by the country China. And the other countries which were mentioned in this publication was Korea and also uh, Brazil and India, etc. But overall, Asia seemed to be quite really a chaos in when it comes to the intellectual property right even though those countries are the member of the WIPO location Geneva, Switzerland. The reason why I decided to talk about this issue is that, I mean, because I posted a, a Facebook, I mean, as normally, I mean, today, also in English and also in Japanese. But there was this person, a man, a Japanese man who I don't know at all, and made a comment onto my post by stating that, I mean, I mean, please only write in Japanese when half of my Facebook friends are non-Japanese and also the people who do not understand Japanese at all. So with my kind of, I mean, being, uh, I mean, victimized or the kind of with my lifelong memories and the situations that I have been under, such as um, came up to my mind. I mean, the first, I mean, the public the main URL, yukikudo.com, and second, yukikudo.net, etc., have been stolen by the um, Korean uh, uh, or Chinese American, I mean, first, and then secondly, yukikudo.net, amazingly, Sichuan, I mean, in China, where I have never traveled to China. And so, as a writer myself and a well known fiction writer, a news anchor, newscaster, and a professor, the kind of people who are, I mean, more and more are dealing with the information or the creation of art or creation of some value. I mean, the high value tend to be negatively correlated with the quantity. Quality does negatively correlate with the quantity. And the mass media and the social media, I mean, there are plenty of those people who are so arrogant and those people who are negating or not being able to understand what the high value really are. So with the kind of, I mean, victimization I have actually feeling throughout my life here in Japan, I sometimes, um, not sometimes, always, I mean, feel like really leaving Japan and also live in the situation or other circumstances. I mean, if Asia is not at all changing, I mean, that any intellectual property of any creation of, of art form, literatures and books or ideas are never being stolen and my life never been destroyed. I'm speaking only on this video in English, not at all in Japanese. Thank you very much indeed for your kind attention from Ikekuro in Japan.